so let's just do a recap of what we did yesterday under project motion part one yesterday we talked about case one a situation where you throw a ball from the top of the building and here is the ground so this ball will come here it will land there we said that this is the range that's what we said yesterday and this is the height so we said this ball is going to be thrown with an initial velocity of zero so to find the height we derive this formula to say it is half gt squared that's what we said yesterday so if you you missed yesterday's class i would advise you to watch the recorded class for yesterday which i posted um uh, on the channel yesterday and then we said that if you want to find time time will be the square root of 2h divided by g okay what else another thing we say that if you want to find the range in this case range will be vx times t these are the only things we talked about under the first case these are the only formulas if you can remember very well okay then now if we are to go to party um, to case 2 where we said but two okay, or case 2 we said you have got a situation where you kick a ball from here from the level ground and this ball will come here until it lands there so you're going to have the maximum height which we we'll call h max then this is going to be thrown at an angle and you are going to be given the initial velocity the angle is theta so we said that this will be the range and we said that for us to specify this let's call this point a point b point c then we agreed you and i to say if we want to find the time from a to b the time is given by v sine theta divided by g we derived these formulas that's why here i'm just giving you dialect because we derived them yesterday then we also say that it, the total time which is from a all the way to c the same time the same formula just two times two so two v sine theta divided by g these are the things we are doing yesterday it's just a recap then we also said we also said if we want to find um the h in this case we said that h is given by v squared sine squared theta divided by 2g or you can also find h by saying v sine theta then these are supposed to be in the brackets then you square the answer that will be easy for you the reason why it's going to be easy for you is because you are going to have sometimes this is going to be a bit challenging for you to punch on the calculator okay but this one is going to be easy because you just find the answer for v sine theta then you square the answer divided by 2g the last thing we talked about yesterday was the range okay we talked about the range yesterday so the range will be equal to we said it is vx times t but now what is vx according to sokatoa we said that vx is v cos theta times t now what is t the time the time you calculated which is the time from a all the way to c the time from a all the way to c is the total time okay the time it takes from a to b is the time for for the maximum height for the boat to reach at the maximum height if they ask you a question to say what was the okay calculate the time it takes for the boat to reach at the maximum height you are going to use this formula v sine theta divided by g if they ask you to find the time it takes for the boat to come from here all the way until it runs down here you just add it to here that will be the total time meaning that is the same total time i have to replace it with t but if you want you can just find the time here 
then the answer you find there plug in there that is your range okay this is what we did yesterday now for today it's a combination of the first case and the second case so that's why it was very important for me to to go through the first case and the second case okay so i think you ask me questions here from here so if you have got you are standing from the uh, on top of the building then here is a ball you kick a ball here so this ball it comes there until it lands down this is the part which is very very interesting and this ball is going to be kicked at an angle okay at an angle so this is the height of the building the height from that point all the way down here i'm going to call it h max then the height i know that this part here if i can if i can just cut it there from there all the way to down there i'll call it small h believe me from this point here coming down is the first trajectory then from this point this this point which is here this trajectory here it is the second trajectory so the third trajectory is the combination of the first trajectory and the second trajectory unless you have got questions on how i have divided this h max into h and small h meaning that h max is as a result of the capital h plus small h any question before we go any question there guys okay we are okay right so now here is the thing now I want to find the formulas which you need to know is uh, how to find the total time I think that is the most of challenging this is the range the range will be the same so once you know how to find the time it's going to be easy for you so the first thing is let me let me denote this point to be point a point b point c okay everything is going to be the same except the formula for finding the time except for the formula for finding the time and the, the maximum height the h max now how do we find the h max to find the h max in most of the cases and let me just say 98% of the questions they will give you the height of the building then they'll ask you to say what is the maximum height so the maximum height they're asking about the h max so you have to find this small h then you add it to that h that will be now the h max so how do you find the small h the small h is as exact as the formula i gave you for the second trajectory which is v squared sine squared theta divided by 2g use this formula that is the maximum height if you're not okay with this you can just say v sine theta in the bracket then squared after that they are going to ask you to find the total time now to find the total time the best formula which i'm going to show you on how to find the total time you need to find the total time from you need to find the time from a to b using the second trajectory we agreed you and me to say the time from a to b the time from a to b is v sin theta over g then the time from b to c this is now free for i have to use the first trajectory which is going to be t will be equal to the square root of h max now here you need to be very much careful which h, h max are we talking about here we are talking about the maximum height the height from b all 
the way to down part here. Since I already know h, using that formula which we said h is equal to v squared sine squared theta divided by g. Since I know this, plus this, that will be my h max. If I add this time, this time and that time, meaning that my total time, so when you have been given this type of trajectory, the third trajectory, the total time is given by, you say v sine theta divided by g plus the square root of 2h max divided by g. This is the best formula I can tell you guys. The total time for the second, the third trajectory. This is the formula. And this formula they are not going to give you. You will never find this formula. When you have been given a test, sometimes they will give you these formulas, like this one they will give you, yes. But this one for the total time, no, they will not give you. Any question? Any question? Do you guys have questions? Okay, we are good to go. So the range is the same thing. You use the same formula. The time which we are going to find here, which is the maximum time. So if you want to find the range, the range will be Vx. V is V cos theta times T. The time is the total time you are going to find here. That is it for projectile motion, unless you have questions. We can now go ahead and answer some questions. Uh, just before we move, yes. I didn't get how you go how to find the small h, which is the small height here. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so the small the small h on how I got the small h under the second trajectory. Because small h is coming from the second trajectory, from point A to B. So we derived this yesterday. We said that h is given by v sine theta. Then I put them in the brackets, squared, divided by 2g. Or you can put it in that way. I don't know if you were there yesterday. Were you there? Yes, I was there. You remember this formula? Yes, I do. Yes, so for you to understand this part, you need to watch that video if you're not there yesterday. The first part. Mm. Yeah, it will be easy for you to, to know what we're talking about here. Now, <clears throat> I think now we can solve different questions. Do we have anyone who has got a daphroid? for physics in PDF. Anyone? This question came last year for 1010. 10. That was question 3, final exam. So the question is, a stone is thrown upward from the top of the building. You, I'll, I'll ask you after I read this question. A stone is thrown upward from the top of the building at an angle of 25 degrees to the horizontal level of the roof and with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second. If the stone is in flight for three seconds before hitting the level ground, how tall is the building? Is this the, the first trajectory, the second or the third one? According to the question here, it's the third one. Another pe okay, one person is saying it's, it's the third one. What of others? I also think it's the third 
you also think it's a third one why do you think it's a third one why do you think yes from there yes Explain, 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 explain. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying it's the third one? <laughs> because we have been given an initial velocity. Ah, but even the first, the second trajectory, we are going to be given the initial velocity. So that can't be the reason. Who can explain why do you think this is the third trajectory? Uh, it is the third trajectory because in prices of uh, the two trajectories, the first case and the second case. But, sir. I want someone to convince me. There is a first person who was explaining about, I think, he was explaining about because the question is saying are from there. Mm -hmm. When it is thrown from uh, on top of uh, the building, that is the first case. Uh -huh. Now, where is, uh, now okay just a minute there before before you go just a minute before you go anywhere there just just there the question is a stone is thrown upward from the top of the building what comes in your mind there just there the person was where the person was on top of the building. The case. Yes. So when the person was the uh, was on top of the uh, building, the was standing, uh, on top of the building, right? Stone is thrown upward from the top of the person was on, was on top of the building. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's the third one because this stone was being thrown from the top of the building like this that's why it's a third trajectory and we have been told that eh, the velocity at which this was eh, being thrown it is 15 meters per second and the angle we have been told is what eh, 25 degrees the question is the total time the total time is 3 seconds what else have we been given nothing then we have been told that we know that this is the maximum height which we call it H max according to what I, I, I explained last time I said the height from there to there I will call it small h this will be the capital H the question is how tall is the building are we finding the H max the small h or just the capital H which one are we finding here Sometimes understanding the question is also very important. Which H are we finding here? We are finding the small H because the big H we have already been given. I mean, H marks we have already been given. Have we been given the H marks? Are you sure? The question is how tall is the building? Mm -hmm. I think we are finding the small H and the we are finding the big H. We are finding both a small H and big H. Mm, more, more like the H, the big H. Okay, why, why not, no, why not small H?
I want to see your reasoning. You know, you know, you know the trick part about physics. As long as you don't understand the question, it's practically impossible for you to solve it. That's why I'll make sure that you understand first the question before we solve. How tall is the building? What are we finding? We have come up with a free body diagram. Are we finding the small h or just h or the h max? Which one are we finding? We are finding the h max. Sir. We are finding the we h max. We are finding. Why are you saying we are finding h? The one who is saying we are finding h. Can you give me the reason? Hmm? What reason can you give me, madam? Why do you think we are finding H? Okay, we are finding H because the question is... Yes, yes, explain. Uh, sir, I think we are finding H because... H is the distance from the ground level to the building. Exactly. We are finding H because the question is asking us to say, to find the, how tall is the building. So we are interested with what? This is the building. This is the height of the building. Now, believe me, guys, you, you know to say the H max is as a result of what? The H and small h. As simple as that. Okay, and we are trying to find this h. Since we have been given the total time, we have been given the total time. Remember, I told you to say the total time is given by v sine theta divided by g plus the square root of 2h max divided by g, like that. You remember this formula, right? And we have everything here except the H max. Meaning that if I find the H max using this formula, I'll be able to find, I'll come and find what? I'll come and find this. Because using the second trajectory, I know that small h will be given by V sine theta divided by G. Then I or divided by 2g these are supposed to be in the square root or in uh, i'm supposed to raise it to the power 2 so now the total time we've been told is 3 i put 3 v is 25 sorry v is 15 so i'll say 15 sine 25 g is 9.8 plus H, I don't know H. For now, I'll just leave it the way it is. 2 H max divided by 9.8. Let's find the answer here. Which will be 15 sine 25. I divide it by 9.8. This is giving me 3. is giving me 0 0.65. Can you confirm? 15 sine 25 divided by 9.8 hmm. 15 those having calculators sine 25 let me first do this 15 sine 25 divided by 9.8 I'm getting 0 0.65 plus the square root of 2 h max divided by 9.8 like that shift this to the other side this question had 10 max just doing this so if we shift that to the other side to be 3 minus 0 0.665 is equal to the root of 2 h max divided by 9.8 so, I'll get rid of this. 
So if I do 3 minus 0 0.65, I'll be able to get 2.35. But 15, if I, uh, guys, can you confirm with me those having calculators? Do you have anyone having a calculator nearby? So to remove the square root, I can square both sides. So this and that will go, meaning I have to square now 2.35, which will give me 5.5.52. 5 5.5225. This one will be the same. Like that. If you are behind, you can ask. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, under projectile motion, the moment under projectile motion, regardless of any formula you are going to use, you always plug in positive because when driving the formulas, we were including the negative already. So under projectile motion, G is always positive because when driving the formula, you remember this formula when we were driving this, we considered those as negative. So the negative was already included. Is that okay? So that's the most important thing under projectile motion. You need to know that G will always be positive because the negative was already included when driving the equation. So we we'll remain with, if I cross multiply here, there is 1. So I have 2 H marks will be equal to 5.5225 times 9.8. That will be 54.1205. Divide it by 2, even here by 2. What will be my H max? So my H max will be 54.1205 divided by 2. That is 27. 27.06 meters. That is the maximum height. But the question is we want to find how tall the building was. But here one one thing we have to remember guys is that I need to find since I know that this is a, a camera formula I'm going to use. I need first to find I have now H max but I don't have this. Using this formula I'm going to find the H max. Oh, I'm going to find the small H. So allow me to shift, allow me to get rid of this. Then I can put this there. Then now I find H. So it will be H. V is 25 or 15. Sign 25. I put them in the brackets. I square it. Divide it by 2 times 9.8. What will be my H? 15 sine 25, the answer I get is I square it, divide it by 2 times 9.8 is 19.6. So I'm getting my answer 2.05 meters. So my H is 2.05 meters. So the question is how tall is the building? How tall is the building? Using this formula, H max is as a result of the capital H times the H. The capital H is 27.06. The H we don't know plus the H small H is 2.05. Shift this to the other side. 27.06 minus 2.05 is equal to H. Therefore, the building will be 27.06 minus 2.05 that is going to give us now 24.53 meters that's how tall the building is unless if you have made a mistake in terms of calculations those having calculators you can let me know
so 15 let me just do it I'm saying 15 sine 25 I square it divided by 19.6 yeah it's the same one unless you have questions on how to find this so what matters is you understanding the question then you know what you want to find as simple as that so I think for on the edge it was supposed to be what? 25 eh? when you subtract it's 25.01 oh sorry so when we say 27.06 minus 2.05 Okay, yeah, it should be 25. Thank you. So the answer should be 25.01 meters. So that is the height of the of the building, unless you have questions. So I think for projectile motion, I rest my case. The rest you can utilize the videos which you have. I think I solved different questions. I also solved, I think, all the past paper questions from 2019 all the way to 2023 for projectile motion. Yeah, so next time I think we're going to do Newton's laws of motion. Like I said yesterday, Newton's laws of motion, if you understand that topic, it's going to be very easy for you. To, to know the whole syllabus for physics. Unless you have got questions, guys. Unless you have got questions, otherwise, we end there.